everybody. Well, the snowball eating contest continues, and I visit four more places today, and uh, I've just totally enjoyed getting these snowballs. I've been getting uh, a little bit of egg custard with marshmallow, and uh, coming up at the end, I have a special thank you. Hi, right, we're here at Elizabeth and Ziggy Snowball Stand. It's right on uh, Putty Hill Avenue, right at Old Harford. And we got a couple people here. What's your name, sir? Uh, Charles. Charles, have you had snowballs before? Oh, yeah, I come here all the time. How are they? Oh, excellent. All right, That's who's, is this your uh, granddaughter? Yes. And what you get, young lady? Um, I got blue cotton candy. Blue cotton candy? You like that? Yeah. All right, and how come you didn't get one? Well, it, to me, it's too cold. Too cold? Uh, but I, I, but I, we, I, I usually get mine um, sugar free. I usually get the sugar free ones, which is excellent, also. Okay. Um, I'm a vegan, so I, I kind of, but uh, we was referred from somebody else to come here, and cause we just moved to the area. We just, we just from upstate New York. Okay. Now they got snowballs in New York. <laughs> Not like here. Yeah. Do you know Not that like here. they say that snowball started right here in Baltimore in the 1800s? Oh, really? Yep. And the first one was egg custard. Yeah, I egg love egg custard. Flavor. Yeah, that's my favorite. So, that's and, my you know, favorite. But then that down in New Orleans, they, they say, oh, they had the first snowball. But that was like 1930s. There, okay. right. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm actually judging snowballs. And people voted in. And this was one of the places yes, that everybody yes, liked. Yes, yes. And uh, I, I had to rate them. What was your name again, Charlie? Charlie. Charlie. I had to rate them from 0 to 10. And, and nothing's perfect, you know. Okay. So with that said, you know, the zero, guy, zero being the worst, the okay. ten being the best. Okay. What would you get? Ten. Ten. Yep. He makes Absolutely. it nice, and I mean, uh, look at it. It's colorful. Look at it. So, it is so, very colorful. Yeah, yeah. So he puts a lot of. Uh, he uh, takes his time. Yep. He takes his time. He he takes his time when he does it. He puts in a little bit of ice. Then he puts some flavor. Then he puts some more ice on top. Then he puts some more flavor. Then he puts some more ice, and then he packs it. So yes, he takes his time. And I guess that's another reason why people doesn't mind coming because they see that he just don't put ice in the cup and then pour the flavor on top. He takes his time. He does it in layers. There you go. You heard mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And, okay, young lady, what would you rate it? I'll give you a nine. A nine? All right, very good. <laughs> all right, well, I want to thank you all for no, your no, time. No, no, no. We're out here at Elizabeth and Ziggy's Shade Ice Snowballs right out here on uh, Harper Road and uh, Old Hartford and on Putty Hill. Just pull into Putty Hill Shopping Center and it's right off to the right. Yes. And I want to thank you all for okay. your great thank time. You're welcome. Enjoy You're welcome. your snowball. Now the day we taped this, it was like 82 degrees. That's why she says it's cold. It's too cold for me. You know, normally August it's 95 in mm -hmm. Baltimore. That's right. So, but 82 is not cold. To me it is. <laughs> <laughs> to me it is. Uh, I mean, it could be 100 degrees and I'll have heat on so. <laughs> All right, thanks so again. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. All right, bye. All right. How we doing, folks? I'm out here at Friendly's Snowballs on Joppa Road, in between Perrin Parkway and like Old Harford Road, right near the old Dunkin' Donuts in the parking lot here. And uh, I got some people here. What's your name, young lady? Emily. Emily? And you are? And I am Dan. Dan. So I assume maybe you might work next door? Yes. Oh, yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. All right. So, Emily, we're sampling snowballs, okay? Mm -hmm. And I see you got a custard with marshmallow. Mm -hmm. How's it taste? Really, really good. Really good? Mm -hmm. Really flavorful. Um, I like the marshmallow on top. It's really, it's, um, it melts in my mouth pretty good. Um, okay. So on a nice hot August day, oh, it's yeah. nothing better. No, nothing better. All right, so let me ask you a question. Now we have to, um, we have to rate it, all right? Mm -hmm. From zero to 10, 10 being the best. Mm -hmm. And remember, nothing's perfect. All right. A, a realistic number, what would you give the rating here, friendly? Um, I'd give it a solid, I'd give it a nine. A nine? A nine. A nine. Yeah. But the ice texture is good. You ice just said it's good. It's not too chunky. I can easily just put my straw, um, my straw, my spoon through it. You know. Um, All right, and Dan. Go. How many snowballs have you had in your lifetime? This is actually my second one, and it's probably the best one actually. <laughs> yeah. So you've only had two snowballs. Right. Yes. And sir. you work right next door, and you've never come over here. No, actually. But I'm gonna start coming now. They they added the right amount of juice, not too much, and not too less. It's really good. And you like the flavor? Yes, sir. Now, you know, egg custard, why I picked egg custard? Snowballs, legend has it that snowballs were invented right here in Maryland, Baltimore. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, like uh, in the 1800s. And then uh, they sat, started them down south in New Orleans in like 1930. But we had it before them. Some people said they started there. 
But uh, yeah, they took the old ice truck and they followed and they added flavors. And a custard was one of the first flavors they made. So I, I need Dan to give it a score. All right, from zero to ten, like I asked her, what kind of rating would you give? It? I'll give it a nine point five. I really like it. Nine like, five. Nine point five. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Well, there you heard it from uh, Emily, right? Mm-hmm. Emily and Dan from. Uh, I obviously work at Dunkin' Donuts. All right. Well, maybe I'll stop in one day and get a coffee. Oh, yeah. Of course. We All right. You there. Okay. <laughs> I've been there a couple times. Believe me. Maybe two or three, right? <laughs> like you've had two snowballs. I've had pr- probably two or three coffees from there. <laughs> anyway, we're out here at the uh, Friendly Snowball. Friendly, not the ice cream store. The Friendly Snowball stand. And they have a couple locations. They have one up in Parkland, I believe. And they may have one more. But they're open seven days a week. They open 11. And on Sunday, they open at noon. So come on out and try a snowball right here in the parking lot. Right by Dunkin' Donuts. All right, thank you, Emily and Dan. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having us. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at Opie's in Catesville, and it's been snowball time a year for me. And what better on a hot August day than eat a snowball? Let's see. Oh, what's your name, young lady? Michelle. Michelle? What kind of snowball did you get? I have egg custard. Egg custard. Isn't that no good? It's absolutely delicious. You know, that was one of the first flavors. Snowballs were originated right here in Baltimore. Yes. Did you know that? Yes, I did. I'm a Baltimorean. <laughs> and they used to take sugar, vanilla, and the eggs and whip it together and then put it in with the ice. Wow. This All right, is so delicious. I'm here to judge Opie's, right? Okay. And I have to rate them from a zero to a ten. Ten being the best. You know, nothing's perfect except my wife. Um, <laughs> so, with that said, what would you give Opie's a rate? I would rate Opie's a 10. I'm a frequent uh, customer here. I bring my grandson here um, every week. So, 10 for Opie's all the way. All right, there you go. And what was your name again? Michelle. 10 for Michelle. Nice. Michelle, is this your sister? That's my mom. I'm oh, right, a mom. Whoa, I'm sorry. Or that's good. I am her mother, Jimmy. So, what is Michelle's mother's name? Michelle's mother's name is Connie. All right, Connie, have you ever eaten here before? No, I have not. It's my first time, and I love it. I have raspberry. Raspberry? Yes. So it's good? Delicious. All right, there you go. Connie? Family atmosphere, I love it. All right, there you go. Michelle and mother Connie. Connie. I'm going to still call you sister. All right, well, thank you, ladies. We're going to walk around and get some other people out here at Catesville. Whoa. Watch out. Don't trip, Jimmy. Up. Let me go under the flag. Okay, now we got three young fellas here trying to snowball. What's your name, buddy? Jaden. Jamie? Jaden. 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 What'd you get? I got a mango snow cone. A mango? Yeah. So how you like it? It's pretty good. It is? Yes. Pretty good. So look, rating from a zero to a ten, ten being the best, what would you give it a number? I'd give it a seven out of ten. Seven only, out of ten? Only reason why it's not a ten is because the ice on top. Okay. There's not much flavor on it. There you go. Okay, very good. All right, who we got here? Uh, Jamie. Jamie. All right, I got Jamie now. And what'd you get, Jamie? Blackberry. Blackberry. It looks good. It looks red, maroon to me. Yeah, it's it's okay. I I should have gone with cherry, but. All right. So, uh, what would you give it a rating as, Jamie? Eight out of ten. Eight. All right. We got a seven. We got an eight. Now, who's down here? My name's Micah. Micah, how you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? So, what'd you get? I got egg custard. That's what I had. Okay. And what would you give the egg custard? 10 out of 10. I love it. All right. You got a 7, 8, 10. Nobody was a 9. All right. Well, fellas, I want to thank you for your time. So if you come out in Catesville off uh, Edmondson Avenue, come on out and give Opie's a try. Well, we're down here at Locust Point at Ice Queens. And believe it or not, just minutes ago, we came across the street and Anthony was coming over to Scooter and the car hit him. And luckily, Anthony's okay. He's right here right now. Anthony, I'm sorry what happened to you. Yes, uh, it was a little scary. (laughs) Man, I heard the noise. I turned around. You were right behind us, and you're laying on the street. But you got a couple little cuts, but that's it? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Uh, Just bruised up a little. All right, well, I'm glad you're okay. And uh, now we're here to test these, uh, sample these snowballs, right? Mm -hmm. So what did you get? I got a ice cream with egg custard and marshmallow. Wow, that looks good. How do you like it? Good, good. Uh, I would give it an eight. You give it an eight? Yeah. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> well, I don't recommend getting hit by a car again. Oh, no, I'm going to try to stay away from those. <laughs> so remember, he was actually in a cross, uh, a cross walk, you know, and he was 
crossing legally, so I'm just glad you're okay, buddy. Thank you so much. All right, well, enjoy your snowball. Thank you. All right, let's see. We got some ladies over here. How you doing, ladies? Who do we have here? Hold on. Let me turn around. Who we have here? What's your name? Can I tell them my name? Yes, you can tell, you can tell me your name. name. Hi, I'm Marichelle. Marichelle? Marichelle. Oh, Shell. Marichelle. Yes. What'd you get, Marichelle? Uh, cotton candy with nerds on the top of it. Nerds on top? I never heard of that. <laughs> How you like it? I haven't tried it All right, yet. we'll try it out. So Marichelle is trying nerds on top of her snowball. It's a first for me. What do you think? It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. All right, so I have to rate it from a zero to ten. Ten being the best. What would you give it? Um, maybe like uh, eight. Eight? Ish. Okay. Like that. That's good. I gave it a seven, nine, so we're, we're right at the same place. It was very good. All right, how about, um, I, I have to sample snowballs. This, that's, that's my job. Just, yep. just this week. Just this week. Last time was chicken wings, and then I did um, crab cakes, and we've done uh, pit beef. Like pit beef. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, guy at Fox oh. and, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. So what do you got? Uh, pink lemonade with nerds on top. Pink lemonade with carrots on top? Nerds. Oh, you got the nerds too, huh? How do you like it? Oh, it's, it's good. I'd give it maybe seven. Seven? What's your name? Merrick. 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 All right. Well, thanks for putting in. Is this mom? This is mom. Yeah. How come mom's not getting a snowball? Because mom just went to Iron Rooster and had a lot of food. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all for pitching in. Thank you. And uh, I want to take a minute and uh, thank my intern who helped me out. Give me the camera here. You take that. All right. Here we go. So now we got... We have Charlotte, who's been filming me on these uh, eating. I want to thank you, Charlotte. Now, you're going to be leaving me because you're going where? Back to Auburn. You go to Auburn? Yeah. In Alabama? Yes. Wow. So, uh, what do you take there? Uh, graphic design. Okay. What was your experience like working with me last su summer? Oh, it was really good. It uh, got me out of the office and switched up my weeks a little bit. So, I really enjoyed it. It was fun trying all these different places with you. Um, it was really a quick experience. And you didn't know you could see somebody get hit by a car? No, that was really scary, actually. So luckily, <laughs> Anthony is okay. Put your hands up there, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Anthony that got hit, there's his uh, scooter there laid out on the street. Well, look, I want to take this moment thank you for all your help you did course, for me. Jimmy. You did a really good job. Anytime. <laughs> all right, and good luck in school. Thanks.